Hello everyone! I hope you're having an amazing day. I'm Dan. I'm in Chengdu right now. Today it's another great day in Chengdu and we're taking a day trip to visit Xiongmao Jidi, Chengdu Panda Base and Dujiangyan, one of the greatest irrigation and flood control systems in the history of mankind. Let's go! We just got in the Chengdu Panda Base. Let's go get some cuteness overload. Let's go! We're walking through a pathway with bamboos on the side and we're trying to get to the Panda's uh, dormitory. This way to visit Panda! Looking fresh! Guys, this is our first panda. You can look at that. Juvenile panda. <laughs> the pseudo sun, guys. So how so he can grab onto the bamboo very easily. Guys, can you find the panda? There are two high up on the tree. Number one. Number two. Hi guys, we've seen quite a few of cute pandas. So cute. And they're lazy too. I mean, they really stand. The only time they stand and walk is to find more food. I think he's dreaming of eating the tastiest bamboo. Ah, so cute. We're gonna go for lunch and we're gonna have a group lunch. So I'm just gonna share some clips uh, for lunch and then we'll get to Du Jiang Yan. Alright, let's go. Hello guys, this is Du Jiang Yan. This is one of the observatory. Du Jiang Yan, it's built in 256 BC, but it's still in use more than 2000 years later. The Min River comes down from the mountain. This is the first divider of Du Jiang Yan, divided into two, and the water runs down. And that's the second divider you can see on the far, far left. We're all here to Du Jiang Yan. This is uh, the stat uh, stone statue of Li Bin, the main heroes for Du Jiang Yan. Guys, this is the second divider of the Du Jiang Yan engineering project. The Minjiang River comes down here and gets split into two. This is also the first place where they try to separate the mud and the water all for irrigate the over 5300 kilometer square kilometer of Chengdu Pingyuan. Guys, these are the, the bamboo basket with stone inside that's in the river. That The waves that you see on the river surface because they have a lot of these underneath. So let's, let's go see the water divider. So we just reached the first divider and where we are standing underneath is called Yu Zui, the fish mouth. And if you look at the fish mouth, it's actually all the way goes out, all the way to that, that long stripe thin. So when the water comes, it actually get, really gets divided, you know, so from a far distance going down into two paths. This is the beginning of one of the greatest irrigation and flood control systems in the history of mankind. Alright guys, our street food tour continues into the night. It's about 8 p.m. It's completely dark outside and we're here looking for street food. And Chengdu cuisine is not all about spicy and nami. And one of the best examples is Lao Ma Ti Hua, which is a stewed pork feet drink the soup. 
It's really rich. Wow. Oh, this is one of the richest hockey soup that I ever tasted. You can see that on the, on the surface, there is sort of a jello like layer. There is so much gelatin is in the soup. It's mild, but it's super rich, corky, just so comforting. Come here and try the soup. It's amazing. Let's try it, the pig feet. And you can see this just falls apart when I pull on it. I mean, it's been stewed for so long. And basically, you know, it's off the bone. First bite. <coughs> Wow, this takes melting your mouth and gelatiny to another level. Almost a little creamy. I mean, you bite into it and that skin super clean. There's not a single hair on top. It means with your tongue, press a little bit, that just sort of melts away. But during the melting, it still gives you a little bit of that bouncy gelatiny texture. And the flavor is very, very mild, N not salty. A little bit of savory but it's it's really just that that nice porky goodness mm. the third way to eat it is with that spicy sauce let's try that dip it in not spicy but really aromatic and the slightly nangmi and the spicy sauce tastes pretty much like lao gan ma which is a very popular chinese uh, chili sauce. This place is actually open 24 hours so after drinking people can come here and have nice bowl of pig feet. Second stop, this is Bo Wen Bo Bo Ji. Bo Bo Ji is a very special type of hot pot that's originated from Le San. This bowl is Bo in Chinese and Ji means chicken. So originally Bobo Ji only applies to chicken and all chicken parts. But as it becomes more popular, people start adding a lot of ingredients into it. So Bobo Ji just sort of becomes a special hot pot. You know, soaking your boiled skewer into a red chili sauce. All these Bobo Ji, you eat it cold. Alright, let's have a bite. Let's dig in some kind of meatball. Oh, so soft. Really finely grounded, I think, beef. Very nice. Quill eggs. Oh. Really crunchy. The soup base is really aromatic, really pungent. Try this bamboo shoe. Mm. This is really nice. Wow. Really refreshing, crunchy. You get a sweetness from the bamboo, but that's soaking in that chili oil, coating all around it. Wow, it's a nice sensation. Load this through. Country mm. refreshing. Just the right amount of the spicy nami. Mm. Oh, this is a beef stomach. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Oh, really that chili oil. Nice, nice. So nice. Oh, now I can see this is definitely me. Mm. Really tender and flavorful. Mm. Mm. This I love. Tofu skin. Definitely top notch. Must order in Popoji. After trying the few skewers, the ingredient itself does not have a very strong flavor. But you're getting the flavor from the chili oil soup base. My first Popoji experience. Success. Love it. Looks like it's mostly closed, guys. So I think we're just gonna call your day and go home. If you like this video, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button so you get notified for new episodes. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.